Oh shit! Well, damn, that'll teach me not to put my bed down. Actually, I left some supplies over here. Let's see if they're gone. Well, looks like they're still down there. Oh, good lord. still around. Alright. Gonna need a new gun. What have I got bullets for? The other stuff's downstairs. Oh, you are kidding me, game. In case you haven't realized yet, this recording session was not planned. I just hit the button just in case. And, oh yeah, just in case. Let's get that stuff back, shall we? We 
shoot that thing from here. Where are you? Don't. Where's that dog? More dogs? Oh, careful. What's in there? There it is. Are there more? Sounds like it. Crazy, wouldn't you agree? Oh my god. I'm surprised the whole place hasn't collapsed. I think that's all of them. Thanks, but it's a little late now. Let's get this stuff on, get ourselves upstairs, and then we can talk. Anything else that I need to be wearing? 564. 571. What's left in my bag? My magnum. Not sure whether I'm going to have enough space for all of this. Hang on. Oh, what are we carrying that we don't need? Let me place this down somewhere. Seriously, game. Might need a little bit of dirt to fix this. There we go. Let's get some tools as well. upstairs. Well actually before we go upstairs let's talk about a big mistake. You, I do not need a heat hoard right now, okay? Shit. Nothing spawning. Look at that gunk. Come on, there's one more. That should be it. Okay. So. This was a mistake. They came at this and because they couldn't get up easily they went through uh, and once they went through they started going 
under. So all of a sudden we had a horde of zombies digging under the base. so much damage. Do I have any frames on me? No. Do I have any space to make frames? Let's just clear this up so that nothing collapses on me. only assume that they went through there after I came downstairs because that was closed up. There better not be anything else around here. <laughs> Look at that. There was about half a dozen cops in there that I never got to loot. Alright, let's just throw this one down here and jump back upstairs. And we'll have a chat about what happened. Well, actually, give me a minute to sort my inventory out. There we go. So, what was that all about? I suppose that's what you're asking. Well, after I made a couple of trips back and forth and gotten back, I went through and I sorted through all of my gear. And I had to put down some extra chests so I could go through things properly and take all the guns apart put them all back together get the best possible bits and pieces that I could get and I finally came up with this magnum as well as another pretty high quality magnum there was just the one flawless pistol now we've got two um, a flawless shotgun uh, a flawless, flawless short sword off. No real improvements for the sniper, unfortunately, but the sniper does ridiculous damage anyway at um, 215 entity damage. Um, and obviously, um, I've got the ability to make the bullets now. The only thing that I still can't make after all of this time is the hunting rifle. And I did have one, but I took it apart because I forgot that I'd couldn't make hunting rifles. Um, on top of that, um, I figured that I would do a little bit of mining and get a little stuff in order uh, before I came back and showed you guys what our haul was. Um, so that was gunpowder and iron and that was so that I could start making up some supplies of bullets shotgun slugs which do 150 points worth of damage as well and they were going to quite possibly replace my magnum um, because massive amounts of damage and on top of that it's a faster reload the biggest issue with the magnum is it's a six shot magazine and when you go through the reload animation well we have a look at it now because those bullets come out if we pop it in there to reload this thing you've got to pop out the bullets reload it flick it in and spin it and all of that takes a lot of time when you're in a tight fight as you might have noticed from uh, that last little effort so anyway I was all set to um, come back and show you guys what we've got and wrap up the episode and I realized, oh, okay, I've got a horde coming. Um, so, well, I thought, look, it's going to be fairly 
uneventful. That's normally how it goes. Um, but I'll record anyway, just in case anything interesting happens. And... Oi, that's not very nice. That's more like it. And as you can see, although there was a little bit of damage, the majority of what went on um, during the night was fairly normal. Um, it wasn't until I came down in the morning, because I could still hear a whole pack of... Oh, ow, did it again. We got more? Where? I can hear you, I just can't see you. I probably need to get this sealed up, otherwise they're probably going to wander in here during the night and continue... Ugh, good gravy. Continue tearing this place apart. No, they're falling up, they're, they're dying on the spikes. But either way... Yeah, this was a bad idea. So let's just seal this up for now. And I'm going to have to put um, some ramps or something in here instead. Not that it's probably going to matter that much. Uh, to be honest, I could probably just put another line of um, frames down and then they would be able to step up without too many problems and that would keep them flowing through. So yes, so obviously, as you all saw, when I actually got over here and realised what had happened, there was a ton of stuff down there. And, well, things didn't quite go to plan. But it's been a while since I've had a death, so I suppose <sighs> was due to have some excitement, and you guys do get disappointed if I don't die, so that one was for you. Um, how are we looking now? Wellness, 154. We never made it to perfect, but that's okay. And why am I talking in past tense? Well, the reason is, is that this season is going to have to come to a close. Um, but don't worry about that too much. Um, there's some good stuff coming. First links first. Um, we're going to see this season out with a real bang. What I intend to do between uh, this episode and the next seven days is clear this area around here of grass and all other obstructions. We are going to put a cage into the middle of here with a couple of layers of spikes around it. Then we're going to spread mines all around that. And we're probably going to dig a hole and a tunnel which will lead back through to my mine. It's going to take a little bit of work but it shouldn't take too long. Uh, because that way I will have an emergency exit if I need it. Um, and the next horde, it, we're going to basically face it head on with nothing but iron bars between us. And we're going to see whether we can survive the whole night or not. We've got the artillery. The question will be, can we cope with the numbers? And I think that's going to be a great way to end this episode. But there is still more coming because this week um, I'm starting a new series of Seven Days to Die. It's not Alpha 13, that is coming soon and don't worry that's not too far away. Um, I've gotten together with a bunch of other guys and I'm going to be doing some co-op. Uh, so you'll be seeing that on my channel um, for a while now. Um, so far we've done one recording session together and it went extremely well. We had a lot of fun. Um, the band is good so I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I know I certainly did. And um, 
Yes, well, it's not too far away. In fact, it may even be out before this episode gets out. I'm going to have to do some serious work to get this one out um, beforehand, but we will see what we can come up with. So, I've got a lot of work to do between now and the uh, final episode here, um, and I'm going to need to get to it. Um, this was obviously a very different episode to what I normally do um, because I wasn't doing the commentary during the fight. I just thought I'd just let it play out and see how it went and I really hope it um, it looked good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. As it stands though, I think that we're going to be calling this an episode. So... Thanks for joining me, everybody. Um, hope you liked this one. I look forward to seeing you all again in the next one. And until then, take care of each other, everybody, and ciao for now.